YouTube, this is Jazz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, it's me and my twin. Say hey. Hey. We are currently in Maui, Hawaii. Yeah, mm -hmm. Maui. <laughs> and y'all, we have had so much fun on this trip. It's a little expensive here. But yeah, we've had so much fun. During this video, you're going to see um, the resort. You're going to see our room tour. Um, she actually, oh, she actually had this trip jam-packed with activities. We did a luau. We also did a booze cruise. And she had me hiking somewhere random. Yeah. But anyways, um, we good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this vlog is going to be kind of long. Uh, so what I'm going to do for y'all is put timestamps on there. Any activity that you want to see that we did, I am going to timestamp that. So if you want to just skip to that section, you can. Also, we will be talking about COVID regulations in Hawaii. I'm going to put that at the very end of the video. So if that's something that you want to look for, we'll be putting it at the end of the video so you can skip to the end if that's something that you want to see. But if you come into Hawaii, make sure your paperwork is in order. Okay, they're not playing. Are they playing? Nope. That's pretty bad. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. And I will see y'all in the next one, I guess. Yeah. to a convertible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why not? Why not? So here is a quick look at the amenities at the resort. We are staying at the Hanua Kai Resort and Spa. And we'll be putting their information in the description box in case y'all are interested in booking with them. But this place is so beautiful and the beach access is so pretty. Once we got to the resort, they did tell us about their masking rules. Their rules were that you were masked while you were walking inside, but outside you did not have to wear a mask. So here's the room. So this is what it looks like from the entrance. Um, I think that's like a maintenance closet. I don't know. I think this, I don't know. Oh, this is a closet too. My sister already started hanging up some of her stuff. washer and dryer and I think this is another yeah this is a another closet here with a safe and you know all that okay so next we go to the bathroom y'all the bathroom's really nice and there is the shower and it does have a tub. If you can see the toilet, the toilet is right here. So 
So let's go into the room. So this is, I believe it's the studio. Carmen, is this the studio? They got my sister. Say, hey, Carmen. Um, so this is the studio, I think, room. Um, it does come with, you know, all the essentials. They gave you stuff to wash your clothes, um, dishes and all of that. And here is the kitchen. I love the backsplash on this. But you know, you get you a refrigerator, um, microwave, stove, oven, nice countertops, teapot, all of that stuff. And, you know, dishwasher. It, it got all the like, I guess it's called cutlery, <laughs> silverware <laughs> in here. And stuff to make you some drinks right here. This is the living room area. I think this is a pull-out sofa. Um, king bed over here. Oh, and if you didn't see, it does have like some seating here for people to sit around the bar area or whatever that is, island area. So this is our favorite part. This is the lanai. And the windows and doors open all the way up, y'all. So like, it just feels like this is an extension of your living room. But y'all look at this view. Look, so I'm gonna zoom in on the ocean here. But yeah, we are loving the resort. What would you say your favorite part of the room is, Carmen? This part right here. Oh yeah, the lanai. Sure. Yeah. This what it looked like from the lanai area. And yeah. So we decided to go to the store and I wanted to show y'all how expensive the food and stuff was. Hey, y'all see this bacon, like, it's like bacon and $8. So it's $7, but if you buy three of them, you get, you get $18. We are getting ready for the luau. For some reason, this room don't have a long mirror, so we gotta get ready in like the big mirror. But she already done, she didn't do her face or whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my my face, my eyes and all that stuff. And then we gonna head to the luau. I'm excited about the luau. First time? Yup. So we are officially <laughs> I, I just got what we were doing, okay. <laughs> so we officially ready for the luau. Uh I, I think we look alike. We do. Oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> so the Luau was actually located at the Westin, which is inside of the Whalers Village Mall. So we just decided to do some sightseeing and shopping. So once we got to the luau, we did have to wait in line. And you can see there that they have the social distancing dots and everything there. Um, since the event was outside, you didn't have to wear your mask. So the luau, you yes ma'am, you're looking right in. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> identical or fraternal? Identical, yeah. So our server was really good at displaying all the food to us and the luau had some nice events like dancing and other things, but I really liked the drinks <laughs> and the food was pretty good too.
So we are walking somewhere random that she found. <laughs> and we just pulled on one side of the road for her. Yeah, we just she just she just like, oh this look good. Let's let me just pull over. But I'm happy we did because this view is gorgeous. So we ended up going on Front Street just to kind of explore the, I guess, downtown area of Maui. And we ended up going to the famous uh, snow cone spot that's like rated number one. So yeah. Next, we did the Sunset Booze Cruise, and y'all, the water was so pretty, and the sunset was gorgeous as well. We did end up seeing some dolphins, so look in the water to see if y'all can see them. While on the booze cruise, they did serve us food. And y'all, I killed that food. I don't know if I was hungry or if it was good, if it was both, but I loved it. This beautiful rainbow. It's gorgeous. So, we are at the Loho thing, I think. And I swear, these mountains, uh uh. But we finna show y'all what it looked like up here. The ride up here was kind of topsy turvy. But we finna show y'all what it looked like.
Kirby Kane.
So as you can see, on the way down from the mountain, we did stop at random places just to kind of do some more sightseeing. And we just saw beautiful beaches, beautiful scenery. Maui is beautiful. So toward the end of our trip, we just kind of relaxed and enjoyed the pool and the beach. And yeah, just relaxed and enjoyed the last couple of days we had there. So I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Like I said, at the end of the video, I will be talking about COVID, how they do things down here in Hawaii. Um, main thing about coming to Maui is that it's not really a nightlife here. The beaches are beautiful and everything. But what, Carmen, what that lady said about Maui? Maui is for, I heard, the newlywed and the almost dead. <laughs> they even though, like, we had a good time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had a good time. But what they saying is that um, it's not really much of a nightlife here. It's really for, like, laid back if you want to enjoy the beaches and stuff. I mean, we had a good time, but we would have, a, we would have fun wherever we go, pretty much. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. And anything else you wanna say? No. Stay tuned for the COVID-19 regulation stuff. Okay, y'all, so this is the COVID part of the video. This is the paperwork that I got from the testing facility. Um, I want to tell y'all that it is best to print this stuff out so you can have it on hand when you get to the airport. But when you are going to travel, you go to TravelHawaii.gov and they do have a video for you to watch on how to get into their state. But um, what you'll do is you'll go down and create you an account. Once you create you an account, you will go to the portal part that says trips. You'll add your trip in. And after that, I recommend looking up the travel partners to get your COVID test. And they have specific places that you need to go to and a specific test. It has to be a NAT test. Um, some places do rapid, others don't. So be careful with that. 72 hours before your trip, you do have to upload your results or you can upload your vaccination card, but they only take the vaccination card if you were vaccinated in Hawaii. But you will upload it in a PDF file. And once it's uploaded, it will give you a note that says that they verify you or that they don't verify you. You do have to scroll down to where it says the PCR NAT test so you can upload your results but you have to upload it in very good quality or it will deny you but this is what it looks like once they verify you and it says the COVID negative status next you go to other documents and you upload a recent picture of yourself and 24 hours before your flight you will do the health questionnaire and they will give you a qr code they will send you the qr code in your email please make sure you print all of this stuff out because they do want you to present that stuff when you get to the airport once you pass them with all your paperwork make sure you keep up with all that stuff because we did have to present the qr code to check in and also if you're going to be traveling amongst different islands they want to see the qr code as well to make sure you are not quarantined so yeah that's pretty much how it is right now i have heard of some people being quarantined because they didn't have the right test or the right paperwork but i've also heard of them shipping people back to the u.s to get their COVID test before they can come back to hawaii i've heard a lot of stuff but make sure you have your paperwork in order so you do not have to deal with any of this stuff. I have heard that they are updating their policy soon. So hopefully soon you won't have to deal with this. If you found this video entertaining or if you learned something, please don't forget to leave a comment below. Like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see y'all next one.